Dr. Brian Natris is an internationally acclaimed author, scholar, and senior corporate advisor in the area of corporate values, innovation, and value creation. He is the co-author of four books, including the recently released Dancing with the Tiger, Learning Sustainability Step by Natural Step, which uses case studies to draw lessons in corporate responsibility and innovation. A previous book, The Natural Step for Business, Wealth, Ecology, and the Evolutionary Corporation, has become a sustainability bestseller and helped thousands of people and organizations discover a better way of living and working. Over the last several years, it's been my privilege to act as an advisor to many of the icon organizations in our culture. I've worked with Nike, Starbucks, the U.S. Marines, the U.S. Army, resort destinations like Vail and Whistler, and even the quintessential Canadian icon, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. And one thing that I know for sure, the difference between the really good organization and those that have ascended to the icon category of the truly great is a commitment to deep and enduring values. Companies today, the great companies, are accountable for people, planet, and profits. That is the triple bottom line. As most of you know, a few years ago, Nike hit an iceberg of its own on its labor issues. And it made a deep and profound commitment to never allow that to happen again. It never wanted to be caught off guard. And it's really been my privilege to be part of the team that designed, facilitated, and implemented a nine-month culture change course throughout Nike's global operations. We actually had 100 people come in from around the world, from all different parts of the operations, to do four four-day off-sites and train them to be change agents in sustainable development. From that has spawned a tremendous uh, new innovation within the company. The work that we do, it's almost counterintuitive. It's in a way, it's back to the future because we help bring out those deep values, the commitment to community, the commitment to the natural world, the commitment to the environment, and that kind of change in perception unleashes a passion and an innovation that is really unique. We call this work values-based innovation. Another one of my clients is Starbucks. And I think of Starbucks as another real American and global icon because not only did Howard Schultz have a vision of creating a different kind of company, he also wanted a company that would truly make a difference. And so it's not just in product, but it's also in finances and the way the company works. And those of you who have been reading the newspapers, perhaps even been involved in companies that had accounting scandals, Starbucks wanted to make sure that environmental values were really embedded right in the numbers. So business people, as you know, really focus on the numbers. So what we did was we worked with the Starbucks team, a cross-departmental team, and we did a global environmental impact assessment of their operations. It was a very, very exciting job. People from all over the company came into this and Starbucks chose uh, three different metrics and our role really was to kind of create the container and by creating the container, bringing out the values, it really unleashed the brilliance of Starbucks' own team. And so today, these three powerful metrics are actually embedded in the business plan and everyone now in the company is, is responsible for, for environmental sustainability. It's this values-based innovation that really separates the very good from the truly great.